Hello, and welcome to my SharePoint branding and design video blog. My name is Eric Swenson, and you can follow me at Twitter at Eric J. Swenson, or at my blog at ericswenson.blogspot.com. In this session today, I will be showing you how to reduce the size of a standard SharePoint 2010 and 2013 calendar views. Let's get started. First, let me show you how I created this site. Within here, I have four calendars. The first calendar have all of these events. Second calendar, third calendar, and then a calendar roll-up. This calendar roll-up is what we're going to use to display all the different overlays. So under events, under calendar, I can click on Calendar Overlay and click on New Calendar. Choose the image, Resolve, then click OK. Add a new, uh, new calendar. Choose a different color. Click OK and then add the third calendar. Now, I don't, now that I've set up all three calendar overlays, if I go back to my calendar, you'll see under calendar roll-up, I can see all the different calendars with different color coordination. If I go back to my home page, Then I go to Edit Page and add this calendar. Do Calendar Rollup, Add. You won't actually see the overlay yet. What you'll need to do is actually modify the web part. Instead of Current View, choose Calendar, hit OK, and then click on OK. From here, you can see that the calendar is now displaying all the different events. If I hit Stop Editing, you'll see that this calendar, if I go fast, you know, it has a lot of information and it's kind of cluttered. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to reduce the amount of space being used here and, re and remove the text that are on these links. The next step is to open up SharePoint Designer Go to your site. What we're going to do is create a new master page and then reference a new style sheet. So under master pages, I'm going to right click on V4, copy, paste, and I'm going to rename this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under All Files, go under my Style Library, I'm going to add a new CSS file. I'll call this Small Calendar. I'm going to open up this Small Calendar. Edit the file. And I'm going to paste in some CSS here. And I'll walk you through this. Hit Save. I'm going to go back to my master pages. Right click on and check out this small calendar. And then edit in advanced mode. I'm then going to add a CSS reference to this master page. After the, uh, the last uh, control in the head, do a return. And we're going to add a CSS registration here. This registration is, and I'll post this, post this on my blog as well, 
is going to the root site collection into the style library and then pointing to my small calendar.css and it's referencing it after the core v4.css. Once we're done here, hit save. Say yes. Now if we go back to the master pages, check this in. I'm going to right click and say set as default master page. I'm going to go back to my site. I'm going to refresh. And you'll notice my calendar is now very small and it has still keeps the color coordination, but it also reduces the amount of size. And depending upon the size of this web part zone, so if I collapse this, and reduce it, you can see it can get pretty, pretty small and it'll actually expand and collapse as needed. And even if I moved it over to a different zone, it's still going to keep the small height to it. So the smaller you can squish it, the, the better it would be. So that's the example there. So let's look through the CSS. So what this is doing is it's actually setting a background color to the uh, month. It's setting a height of the specific um, box. And then it's actually hiding a lot of these things, which are the text. This one right here is specific to say that that whole row, if we remove this and saved, refreshed, you'll see that there's a lot of space here that got that get added. So we can actually reduce that down to 15 pixels. Go back. And you'll see that it's drastically reduced. And that's it for 2010. And now we're going to take a look at 2013. Um, one thing to note with the previous approach of applying the CSS directly to the master page is that that's a very global change. So it's going to affect any of the calendars in full view. So what I would suggest is actually referencing that style sheet in a particular page layout or in the example that I'm going to use here is using a hidden content editor directly on the page where that calendar is going to show. So if you have, like have a home page or something that you only want to have this small calendar on that page. Um, this is probably the direct route to go. So in 2013, um, it's actually surprisingly the same classes and the same CSS um, with one little tweak. So if we look at the way this site is set up, um, I've got our regular calendars here. So calendar one, calendar two, and calendar three, pretty much the same setup. Um, and then I've done the same setup for the content rollup. Um, I won't bring you through that whole process. But if you look at this, I have my calendar overlays included in here. And here's just an example, calendar, color, and the location. So if we go back to the uh, main page, I'm going to add this uh, calendar to the page. And the same thing goes with 2013. So if I add a web part, my calendar roll up, and click on add you'll see it doesn't get populated with those overlays. So I'd have to go and edit the web part and click on calendar and then click OK. And you can see now I have my calendar overlays. So um, if I stopped editing this page and browse to the site, you'll see again it's, it's a little bit different, it's a little bit cleaner, but um, we still have the same problem with the, this text not really looking good and um, it's just really condensed. The other big, big thing here, the difference, is that in 2013, they actually spell out the, the days of the week instead of S-U-N for Sunday. They write it the whole thing. So that one fix that I was talking to you about is actually removing this um, as an optional component. If you wanted to reduce the size of it, you can also do that. So what I'm going to do is actually edit the page again. I'm going to add in a web part. My content 
content editor web part. I'm going to click here to uh, add in content. Then I'm going to go under edit source. And this is basically our source control. And what I'm going to do is paste in this uh, pretty much the exact same, um, it, it is the same CSS from 2010. I've just added in the style brackets so that we can use it in the content editor. Click on OK. And you'll see that it already changed this. So to see this in the, the correct view, um, it's actually going to get rid of the scroll bars here under page, stop editing. And you'll see that this is what this uh, looks like. So I'm actually going to edit the page again. I'm going to go back and add one more CSS property to this under edit source. And again, this will all be on my blog. So what this is going to do is actually going to set this um, top, the, the text on the top to display none. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see it actually removed it there. And then I'm going to set this content editor, edit this. And under layout, I'm going to choose hidden so that we don't actually see it. And then at the very end, click OK. And then under page, we're going to stop editing. And you can see that the calendar is now really rolled up. And if I hover over individual items, I still get the previews of what they are from the different calendars. And if I wanted to go back, I could always go up to and you know, I could double click on an item and show me the calendar item. So it's actually pretty handy. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.